All right, what's up, Hot Squad? And welcome back to my Hot Banger Recap Marathon. So we're going to end this Hot Banger Recap Marathon off with another Sensei Recap, and this is his Training Day Recap. Oh wow, Training Day! Freaking one of my favorite movies of all time growing up. So this one is called How a Cop Was Violating the Hood. So like I said, Training Day came out back in 2001, I believe. You know, Denzel watched that guy's second Oscar for playing Alonzo Harris. I mean, he was such a total dick back. I mean, my God, he was such a a hole. And Ethan Hawke played, you know, Jake Hoyt. Such a great job doing that. And and overall, I freaking love the movie. And of course, it's the first time with Denzel and Anton Fuqua, who directed Training Day, collab together, you know, before making the Equalizer trilogy. So, and yeah, I'm very excited to see this, y'all. So, also, what I'm free to do, we're going to end this Hulkbanger recap marathon off with Sensei's recap of Training right now. Let's check it out. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, get it, get it, get it, get it. I never thought that things was gonna be like this. But mama told me there'd be days like this. Hey. Be running around with this crazy cop. Bro had me do PCP in the car. Be running around like like Smokey from Friday. So not the word of the note you did. What? I don't know what he meant by what. I thought he was on some freaky shit. I thought it was on Diddy time and whole time. Bro got me high as hell. Now look at me. I'm in a bathtub. Bunch of Mexicans got a shotgun in my mouth. I don't Sheesh. know what they about to do to me. Whole time. Bro told me this was just my training day. <laughs> Yo, before we get into yeah. the video, I just gotta say that I appreciate all of you. I mean, literally all of you for smashing that light goal. But I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I seen a bunch of comments in the Equalizer 3 video that when I mentioned training day, y'all were excited for this video, but you also wanted to see Man on Fire, which really was mm. the precursor to all the Equalizer. I yeah. mean, that was like the first movie that was on that job, which, and I know that y'all <laughs> wanna see that. So get this video to at least 5,000 likes, and you know I'm gonna drop the Man on Fire video. And let's get straight into it. So here is all. Yeah, go ahead and do it, Sensei. Drop that Man on Fire recap, man. I I, I love Man on Fire growing up. Officer Hoy and his beautiful, beautiful fiance's wife. I think they're married. My bad. I ain't gonna <laughs> lie. Sometimes I'll be forgetting that people got girlfriends, wives, fiancés in movie because this is the first and only time you see his wife in this movie. Yeah, Literally, it really she is. Probably got paid a bucket of KFC chicken <laughs> in this scene. Or whatever. That's besides the point. My man Officer Hoy is on the phone with his partner. Yo, yo hello. Is, is this uh, Alonzo? Uh, hey, what the hell, man? I told you not to mess up my shoes. <laughs> what? Hold, hold on. Oh shit. Boy, this you? Oh yeah. Look, man. Uh, I need you tomorrow. Spick and span nine in the morning. At the little diner on 23rd and West Main Street. All right, I need you to bring an uh, extra gun. You know what I'm saying? Cause you need two. Bring some money too. I'm gonna make you pay for the bill. I'm gonna say some corny ass joke about it <laughs> or whatever, and then, and then you gonna pay for it. And I'm definitely getting a grand slam. You know what I'm saying? Bring at least 30 with you. But what? Yeah. Are we living <laughs> at a diner or the f in the IHOP? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, the grand slams at Denny's. So I was a hoodie <laughs> ready Denny's. to go to the downer to meet his training partner, Alonzo. And I'm not gonna lie, that man is out of pocket. Hope yeah, seriously. Ready, bro. Strap, man, this movie is insane. So they get yes. to the diner, bro. As soon as my man Hoy get there, he started talking to Alonzo. Alonzo trying to read the paper, you know, do the crossword, look at the stocks, you know. Me, personally, I go straight to the cartoons for the Charlie Brown joints, but that's just me. You feel <laughs> me? That's just me, I guess. All right, my fault. So he keeps <laughs> interrupting, you know, Alonzo, and he's like, hey, man, listen, uh, tell me a story, Hoy. Uh, my story. No, motherfucker, not your story. Tell me any story. You keep interrupting me, right? The newspaper, I'll read it to be entertained. Now, you gonna entertain me. I'm out here confusing me, man. I'm trying to do a crossword puzzle. I don't know what a five-letter word is for fear. You got like a Oh, bitch, that makes sense, because those scary ass keep talking. <laughs> okay, I, I mean, I can tell you a story. So there's a DUI stop, right? A DUI stop? You gotta tell me a story about how you stopped some drunk college kid. It's not <laughs> some sort of dead. I mean, story, you gonna tell me about some. Nah, 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 here, listen, listen, hear me out, hear me out. So we get the DUI stop, right? I had this, my partner, Dabby. Oh, Dabby. Okay, so you got a girl partner? Yo, she bad, yo. Like, like bad as shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, she had a liquor license. What is that? A liquor license? Man, like, lick her license. Man, was she gay? No, no. <laughs> She was, I don't think she was there. Oh, okay, you know what I'm saying? But I'm this area, you know, I'm for LGBTs and all that, and Qs and all that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, on this channel, we f when I'm bringing the football, my fuck. So, anyways, me and Devin, we stopped this guy, right? So, we go in the car. Bro had a 38, two snub shotguns, 500 grams of meth, bro. I got a distribution case, you feel me? So, you gonna tell me this dumb ass story? You had a girl <laughs> cop on your team, and you telling me about some motherfucking guns and drugs? Man, man, you hit that shit? No, no. So, you did all that. You ain't hit Debbie. Her name is Debbie. Like, little Debbie. 
Debbie cakes. <laughs> you ain't eating Debbie cakes. He was like, pocket, bro. I would have definitely smashed it, bro. Hey, listen, man. You got right? Yeah. Okay, so go straight into the left and right of it is pockets. Reach inside, grab some money, and pay the bill, ho ass. So they ended up going to the car after he said that little corny ass joke can make him pay for the bill. Hold on. This man, Denzel, got hydraulics in his car? Oh, yeah, this dude is out of pocket, bro. <laughs> the key is man the controller or something. I mean, it makes sense, though, because the shorty he was dealing with was Latina. His kid is half Latina. Latina. So it's an O and it's an I mean, that, That's what's top of the point. So, anyway, Denzel <laughs> giving a lowdown on how everything is in narcotics. Hey, look, man, I got a lot of cases, all right? 250 to be exact. Now, you know, I probably wouldn't have had that many cases if I did my job, but all I really do is, you know, I rob people, take their money, they make money, then I take money. You know what I'm saying? On some yep. Peanut Live 205 shit, feel me? Yo, watch Peanut Live? Nah, I've never seen that before. So, so I'm gonna take the 38 and smack you in your mouth head and say, you not gonna know about Peanut. That's how I know you ain't supposed to be my partner, man. <laughs> anyways, listen, don't get in my way, bro. We got a lot of these to handle. We ain't really gonna do none of that shit. All we gonna do is get high, take this money, drink beers, oh, you know what I'm saying? Typical life of a rapper. I thought we were cops. Like, let's just away, man. So then they were asking him about his Espanol. You see, obviously, you're gonna need to speak Spanish. Y'all, my fucking guy, California and all that, and the part that y'all in, it's a lot of them. You know what I'm saying? A lot of Hispanic people. That's just what it is. So I ain't gonna lie. This dude, Denzel, be violating, though. He talking yeah. to the whole He like, hey, uh, you got any kids? We're like, yeah, I got one on the way and shit. You know what I'm saying? Denzel talking about he got four sons. I'm like, hey, I'm four <laughs> sons. It's crazy, bro. I'm all cheaper about a dozen, ain't it? He talking about, yo, if you need a son, you know what I'm saying? You need me put one up in your wife, man. I got you. I never miss. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Me respectfully, I would never let nobody talk about my wife like that. You talking about you about to put one of my wife? I'm about to put one of you. Hey, that was hard, man. That was crazy. I was talking about shooting him, but never mind. Me saying I was talking about shooting him did not make that any better. I'm not going to lie. Anyways, he tells him not to wear his wedding ring because he feels like criminals can use that against him. You know, they out and about, out on the prowl, doing things that they need to do. Next thing you know, a criminal sees that you got a wife, he on your ass, beating the shit out you, threatening that he going to take your wife on a train on him. Thomas the Tank Engine. And I know y'all remember Major Payne. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to, if your wife to turn into the little engine that could. You know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, they pull up on this little guy. He be watching them do hand to hands and shit. They see him do this hand to hand with these two white dudes and this white and this uh, goddamn lime green punch bucket. Now, if you with your friends watching this video right now, I need you to punch him and say, punch bucket, don't punch back. You know what I'm saying? Because we seen the punch bucket respectfully. That shit working movies too. I be punching the shit out of people when I see All right, my fuck. So, they end up going and doing a felony stop. I put that in heavy quotations because they literally didn't arrest anybody. So, they stop these white dudes, they pull up on them. Hey, you ever did a felony stop? Yeah, they did one before, you know, it's been a while. There was some college kids. All right, well, you about to get your training today. Let's go. They pull up on the punch bucket, they stop them. Hey, bro, hey, put your hands where I can see them. Put your hands up. They pull up on the car, I'm not gonna lie, bro, shit getting real. Hey, 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 hey. Now, nah, didn't I tell your body boost, I ain't looking at us to put your hands up? Bro, I will shoot you in your fucking hair, man. You out here with a son for God. But you, you, you about to go son? No, man, I ain't, I'm my dad, bro. I ain't no. You ain't no one. I can't motherfucking drug. Man, playing with me. Hey, hey, keep your dog in the bag. Hey, put your hands up, man. Come on, yo. Listen, I, I've never shot a white woman before. I swear to God, I swear to everything I love, bro. I will treat this like it's Black History Month. Do this for MLK, bro. Do not play with me right now. Oh my God, you're being aggressive. Hey, shut the f up. Don't let me see your Nary Shaggy from Scooby Doo. Look at this over here again. Like I'm playing with your ass. I will put your brains on the dashboard, man. Out here looking like you got them run a surf shack and shit. Like you wear open toe sandals with no socks. So he <laughs> taking them up and drugs, bro. They in the car. He talking crazy to Hoyt, bro. He talking about, hey, man, to be a narcotics officer, sometimes you gotta have narcotics in your system. So I'm like, oh, nah. Bro. He talking about, he need narcotics in the system. Yo, what's up with, bro? The whole time he tell him, bro, hey, I need you smoke this shit. Hoyt don't want to. So this man Denzel put a gun to Hoyt's head in the middle of traffic. Stop the car, everything. Hey, put that shit in your motherfucking mouth, bro. First <laughs> off, Alonzo, pause on that, bro. I'm not smoking PCP, though. You know what I'm saying? I know I don't know it's PCP yet. I still think it's weed, but I'm just gonna pretend, you feel me, that I already know because I do know because I'm saying talking right now and I'm breaking the fourth wall once again. <laughs> At this point, I think I'm breaking the fifth wall like this shit Inception or something, but that's besides the point. I ain't smoking this shit on everything I love. You're not gonna turn me to smoke even Friday. Hey, listen, man, if you don't put that PCP in your mouth, you can't be a cop. Now. I'm going to make you be a desk jockey. You're going to be pushing motherfucking <laughs> files and shit, eating Krispy Kreme. Or oh, like, you know, set you up, send you to prison and somebody in there going to make you a little Krispy Kreme. I mean, you choose. Huh? <laughs> uh...
Give me that shit, bro. So this dude smoked the damn PC, bro. So at this point, my man Hoyt is high as hell, yep. bro. He tells him this PCP. Hoyt gets mad. He tells Hoyt, bro, you an adult. You made a decision. We gotta live with that. Anyways, they go to go see Roger. This white guy, he used to sell dope to a bunch of kids back in the day. But he kind of on the payroll right now. He a high roller. He paid the cops off to leave him alone so he don't go to jail. He stay at home, make a bunch of money, blah, blah, blah. He trying to go to the Philippine Island. Nobody cares, bro. So they go in, bro. He talk about how the Russians won him, but he got his back. Yeah, all right. Got his back, all right. Anyways, he tell this dude Hoyt about this motherfucking snail. Stupid ass joke that made no sense to me. Talks about how the snail. I know this after Scott Glenson signs the Lance Body White. I think it's still acting to this day. Was on the porch, guy threw him his shell broke. And it took a year for him to call back to the porch. And then the guy was like, What the f is your problem? Now I know it was supposed to be a metaphor for how the streets work, and I understand the correlation between the snail and the streets. And I get it, bro. Stay out the streets. But that shit was trash. Anyways, my man Hoy was a strong safety. Bro could have went to the league. Now he out here busting perks, taking people in, all that shit crazy, man. He taking in criminals. He could have been taking in touchdowns or shit. Ain't no damn sense, bro. It is what it is. Hoy talking about he feel like he figured out the streets. Bro, you didn't not figure the streets out, bro. Shout your white ass. Stop talking about smiles and cries. People can't take that away from you. And anyways, they leave the crib. On the way to where they was going to, they see a girl getting raped in the alley. Oh, nah. Y'all out here raping women? Hold on. She not even a woman. She a little girl. Oh, that bitch 14. Oh, nah. Uh -huh. So they go in there, and I ain't gonna lie. He get the straight smoke and shit, bro. As soon as he see him, he pull him off. Come here, bitch. Bomb, tackle him. He start choking, bro, out, bro. This motherfucker think he an MMA fighter? So the other homeless dude come up. Just go. My friend, bitch. Man, Hoy, get up, tackle him. He started punching the shit out, bro. Whole time, bro, he done beat both of these up by himself. This man Denzel just watching, smoking a cigarette. Go over there, spectating his man get jumped by two homeless dudes while he's smoking a Newport. Sound like a regular day in the hood to me. No cap. But anyways, that's besides the point. He saved the little Latina chick. She 14 years old, bro. He ends up firing a wallet. He takes him with him. Remember that it's gonna be important. But before that could happen, this man Denzel come over after this man Hoy done did what he did. Mom! Oh, man, I know you had some squabble in you, man. Over here fighting 2v1 and shit, fighting two homeless dudes. Like you're on the side of the walking dead, man. I knew you had it in. Man, you <laughs> both of you guys kiss my ass. You beat my friend up you suck my dick. Bro, first off, why are you talking like you had a speech impediment, motherfucker? Suck your That's what you... Okay, all right, hold on. Let me take these motherfucking drugs up off y'all. Oh, you had some money on you too, man? Why to me when you say you ain't had shit? Oh, how you homeless and got money? But I'm just... All right, my fault. I'm just saying. You got your priorities. You were about my drug, you need to get a goddamn house. But you know, I digress. You know what I'm saying? I understand it's hard out here when you on drugs and shit. But hey, you told me suck your brain, huh? I say, nah, me, I didn't tell you, grip my man. I didn't tell you that. This dude just said, I'll take two guns out, put it in mouth, his mouth and all that, yo, some freak shit. Anyways, he ain't really do nothing to him. Cut him loose after punching him in the gut, calling him a bitch. Now they in the car, bro. He telling his mouth, I'm thirsty. A friend, he gotta be a wolf, you know, protect the sheep by killing wolves, but you gotta be a wolf. Got his mouth, white dude in the car howling and shit at the moon, like he mouth Jacob from Twilight. Bro, <laughs> hell no, nah, bro. I would've knew he was insane when he made me smoke the PCP, but whatever. Oh, hell no, I ain't Snoop. Snoop was in the crib, man. I drop it like it. Yeah, I did remember Snoop was in this, in this as well. Sean, drop it like it, Sean. Yeah, they got a <laughs> Snoop Dogg in a wheelchair, bro. Oh, nah. So they tried to buy crack off my man Snoop, but my man Man, Snoop ain't no rookie, bro. He not going for none of that. He can smell the bacon in the car. You feel me? Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Now nah, you feel me? That's how I'm. You know, I ain't fing with that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Real rap. So he run up. I believe this is one of his first movies they ever acted in before he, you know, he got more prolific as an actor to this day. Oh man, my dude Snoop Dogg in a wheelchair. He is balled up in this wheelchair, bro. He like Lightning McQueen in cars right now. Bro, going crazy. Oh man, he done swallowed the motherfucking crack, bro. What is yep. that shit bust inside you? Yo, pause. That was crazy. Yo, Zesty Counter 5 on the Zesty Counter for that, bro. That was insane. I cannot believe I didn't have the foresight to not say that. Anyways, they beat him up and used a pen. Yep, so that shit right here. Like. Tell him that he gonna get 10 years per bullet because of, you know what I'm saying, he on parole right now. Bro, was about to get 50 years Plus the crack. I ain't gonna lie, that's a lock right there. You know what I'm saying? That's another felony. That's a straight felony. Anyways, he get the <laughs> name up. He said Sandman. Now, this is all an elaborate scheme by Denzel Alonzo. Not gonna lie. Needed, you feel me? Probable cause and all that. The 
to get a search warrant that he ended up paying for for the Sandman guy who's being protected because he's buying into all of these big rollers and the DEA and shit. It's, it's all an elaborate scheme, bro. The whole thing is, I'll break it down for y'all real quick. You know what I'm saying? You're going to find this out later anyway, so I'm going to just explain it now. See, Alonzo, he was gambling and shit, got into it with this Russian guy, beat him to death, killed him. Mm -hmm. Now, the Russian guy, you know what I'm saying, he was actually a somebody, somebody yep. important within the Russian mob and shit. So, Alonzo got money on his head, a million yep. dollars. Now, he got to pay a million dollars by midnight or they're going to come find his ass and smoke him. So, his whole plan was set Roger up, get probable calls from somebody, pay for the warrant, go to arrest him, take his money. It's four million dollars there. He takes a million of it so he can pay the Russian, kill Roger, make it look like, you know, Roger attacked him, blah, blah, blah. You know, that was all the scheme. So, yep. he goes and gets the fake search warrant from these high rollers, bro. He's talking shit with them diner. I'm not going to lie. It kind of looked like the diner in Paris, like the Maximum in that one scene. All right, my fault. But anyways, oh shit, I keep saying search warrant. Yo, my bad, everybody. And my editor's going to uh, fix that. You're going to see him put asterisks and put arrest warrant instead okay. of search warrant every time I say that. I said uh, a search warrant because I put search warrant on my notes for the one part that I wanted to talk about that was mad funny. That's what we're about to talk about. My dumb ass, bro. I'm all over the place right now. My fault. But anyways, <laughs> speaking of fake search warrants, this motherfucker got a Chinese food restaurant and goes to this motherfucker's house, right? First off, he need the money to pay for the goddamn arrest warrant. That's how he... Excuse my yawning, y'all. I just woke up about like 30 minutes ago. I'm trying to recover. I'm going to get some coffee after I get these reactions done today. He's gonna get it. So he go to this hood, bro. It's a bunch of cribs there and all that. You know what I'm saying? He walk in this shorty crib. Shorty looking straight ratchet. I mean, <laughs> long, thick nails. You feel me? Aesthetic ass. Well, she was in there hooking hoy, bro. While this man was in there. Macy Gray, by the way. Searching, looking for the money that he ends up stealing. This is little kid on the couch. This man, Hoy tried to give him. Uh, <laughs> if he's bald, that kid is not going. Yeah, kid, how you go feeling, it. man? You feeling good? Now shut your bitch up. Get your fucking hand on my face, white right, boy. Uh -oh, <laughs> damn. I'm talking to you like that. He personally, I'm just saying, hey, you a rookie, ain't it? Hey, what a fucking <laughs> search warrant now. I want to see you, punk ass, gas, white ass, stupid ass, cookie. Yo, he's <laughs> fucking him, bro. I'm not gonna lie. So after they get the money, bro, she finds out that it's a Chinese nah, restaurant. Got her. Search warrant. So she got the whole hood shooting at the car. I mean, they letting that joint off on the car. Fuck, 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 fuck. They're kind of going crazy on with yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Anyways, none of that matters, bro. They pull up to the hood, bro, where the Damus is at. Now, you know what I'm saying? They calling the pigeons. They letting everybody know, you feel me, that Alonzo in the hood. The whole point of them coming here literally was for nothing. This man just pulled up and wasted all types of time. I never understood this. He had till midnight, but he came here to ask to his girl for a couple hours. Oh. Left hood on the couch. Even Mendez, y'all. I think one of the first roles, too. Sleep with the kid. Like, I don't really understand. Like, what was the point of all that? Just to get some pussy. Like, I, I don't know, bro. I'm just saying, bro. I, I would have tried to get things in motion. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and get this money. Get bro paid. Bro, waited too long, man. Like, ah, man. He tripping. Anyways, huh. that matters, bro. <laughs> Shit, crazy. So they meet with these wise men. That's what Alonzo call them. They have to dial Like I said, they pay for, the, uh, you know, the arrest warrant. Now, we meet with the other guys. That's on Alonzo's team. Oh, Dr. Dre. This dude with the braids. Yep. His name is Paul. Uh, bro, he's talking hell. Happy to Hoyt, bro. Because it's lame ass. Wait, boy. They brought Eminem with us. Next time I'm on Wave, say 8 Mile. But damn, bro, why you being so hostile to me? What did I do to him? Oh, man, don't work. Not gonna lie, it would be funny as hell if Eminem was in this too as well. Worry about Paul, man. That motherfucker is mad as shit, bro, because they ain't put him in uh, Def Jam Fight from New York. He's out here dressing Echo Unlimited, man. I'm just saying, bro. That's a stupid ass fit, bro. I'm just saying, man. man shut your ass up, man. He's out here dressing some big ass detective. You got that stupid ass leather jacket on and shit. Man, I'm talking about my fucking jacket, man. This is real leather. Man, I got alligator on this shit. Man, shut your ass up. So they end up going. Oh, it just hit me. Both Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg were in the movie called The Wash. Same year this came out, too. So, wow. That's, that's crazy. On a Roger, bro, they take bro money. This man Hoy don't want any, you know what I'm saying? Which the rest of them, they ain't give a, They took that bridge. So they end up killing Roger with the shotgun. Well, Alonzo does, because Hoy refuses the door. Shoot his ass. Make it look Damn. like a setup. So they shot this other cop that's at the door twice in the vest, but one of the bullets went through. I'm not going to hold you. Hoy doesn't like this. And when Alonzo puts the gun to Hoy, Hoy turns it on him. Now everybody panicking. He's telling them to put the guns down. Hey, hey, put your motherfucking gun 
God damn, man. Man, listen, bro. I don't want to get shot by eight mile today, bro. Eminem is not killing me today, man. Now, maybe it's two is Dr. Dre. I'm just saying. And I know that, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of funny that, you know what I'm saying, that because Paul is Dr. Dre. You know what I'm saying? And I made a joke about him not being a Def Jam Frank Miller. I'm just saying, bro. That is, that is how to kill me. Anyway, after he convinced his hoard to pick the gun down, bro punched Paul on the way out. <laughs> Cried his dumb ass. Now they in the car. This man Denzel lecturing him about how he got to work from the inside. That he knows that he's mad and, and all this shit is fucked up right now. He's sad about it. But that's just the way things are, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's like that Tupac song. That's just the way it is. Things will never be the shame. All right, I ain't gonna lie. I'm not trying to hear all that shit, bro. He put a car telling me how we got to work from the inside. How we got to take down the man by being bad guys. We cops. So he's upset about this, obviously. He doesn't understand that. How come we got to be the bad guys? We're supposed to be putting the bad guys away. I kind of feel it on this one. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I would have been, you feel me? Made mm -hmm. for narcotics. But then again, I probably would never be a cop. Nah, 12. Anyways, I think Alonzo realized that Hoy's not going for none of that shit. So he's hey. taking him to this Hispanic hood. Says that he's there to help his family. But in all reality, like I told you earlier, he had to set his ass up. Yo, yo hold on, hold on. But that's how you go from Breaking Bad. Yeah. yeah, that's right. He wasn't Breaking Bad. I seen a bunch of things too. Bro, it's all types of famous motherfuckers in this movie. I ain't gonna lie. So Alonzo said he going to the bathroom. The whole time he dipped off on this dude. I ain't gonna lie. Left him there. Left a big pile of cash yep. for Hispanics. Told him to smoke his dumb ass. It's hard on nice, hard on nice. Now we can't breathe. <laughs> so they wanted to play a card game with him. They sent his ass down. This dumb ass dude, Tuco, think he beat him with two pair, even though he had a <laughs> pecan. That motherfucker not made for poker. I ain't gonna lie. Anyways, Alonzo set his ass up to get killed. They got him in there looking stupid, asking him to let him hold his gun and all that made him unload it. They gonna trick this dude completely. He tried to fight him after they talk about his fudge getting packed though. He was not going for that shit. Yep. So they talk about his ass getting violated. The, the guy with the mustache is Cliff Curtis. He's been a lot of things after this. I mean, man. He started trying to rock off on him. Luckily, he saved that little girl from getting raped earlier. See, it was this guy right here, our Hermano's cousin. So he called her to confirm it. Hey, and what was you doing earlier, Essie? You went to school today, Essie? Um, can you just talk regular? <laughs> You're being mad racist right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, my fuck, huh? Anyway, hey, you went to school today? Um, yeah. All day? Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, okay. Because I heard otherwise. Uh, nah, you know, I just went to school. So you ain't seen no cop. <laughs> Don't f lie to me, yeah. <laughs> yeah, saw this white guy. He came and helped me. I was getting raped. These two homeless dudes. Like, what's fing gross? Like, they were on a set of Walking Dead or in a Fallout game or some shit. Yes. Oh, okay, I f with Fallout. Oh, so, the white guy, <laughs> what he look like? He was white, had a beard, kind of young, stupid outfit on, baggy ass clothes, like, kind of a square. Okay, okay, so he look like Urkel, but he white <laughs> with no glasses on. Right, so, we find out, you know what I'm saying? That it was true, that he did help his cousin. And for that, he let him go. And bro went. Guy who played, uh, who was in the white shirt, played Hector every single character, every single movie he was in. Every single movie he played Hector. It's hilarious. Straight to the hood to find this nigga Alonzo, bro. And they are cooking this while he walking. Hey, send your bitch ass back to where you came from, rookie. Hell yeah, you think you're supposed to be out here with us? Your white ass. You better go get a job at Burger King or something. This ain't made to be no cop. Soft ass. I think you look kind of good, daddy. <laughs> yo, <laughs> so, hey, yo, boss. So we go to the gate, bro. The guy moves like, hey, you got some business here? He like, yo, I'm here for Alonzo. And they hate Alonzo, so they let him straight through. So bro pulled up to a wrestling mill though. The whole time. This man Alonzo distracted him with a bag of money, started shooting at him. Bro Oop. got a shotgun screwed into the bottom yeah. of his bed, bro. Fly, fly. So bro yep. went to the kitchen. Now the kid involved, he in the hallway. You know, Alonzo used this to, you know, his advantage. The whole time he sees his reflection, Hoy's reflection in this little picture. He's shooting the kitchen again. Fly, fly. You know what I'm saying? Hoy, shoot back. Fly, fly. But he ended up grabbing the kid, save him. But Alonzo run out of the window. So bro chasing him. Now they on the roof. They start fighting. He go for the gun, gets punched. Boom. Hey. Alonzo grabbed it. Gun going off. Bro, rock his ass. He dropped the gun. Kiss him. Hmm. Kiss him again. Hmm. But bro grabbed the gun. He gun butt his ass in the beam. Pushed him into the wall. Lonzo pushed him back though. Push him. Pushed him through the glass in the window. Bomb. Then he throw him down. Start Damn. smacking him with a chair. Fung, mm. fung. Like it's WWE. Kicks his ass again. Hmm. Grabs him. Rocks his ass. Bomb. Ends up throwing him onto the other roof. Leave him there sleeping. Grab the hmm. money. He dip off. He go to the car. This man motherfucker jump on the car. Yep. Bro. Now the car, you feel me? Keep Lonzo. He crashing it around. Da, 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 da. He ended up knocking himself out a little bit, making himself woozy. This my boy get off. He start punching through the window. Dang, 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 dang. He grab his ass out, point the gun at him. This man Alonzo start talking. Man, first damn move to shoot this whole way out of Get paid. Oh, everything I love, bro. Well, I'm not playing, bro. I swear to God, bro. If you shoot this white boy right now, I'm putting mad money in your pockets. <laughs> I swear to God. Now we got a dilemma. He like, damn, I can get paid. 
if I shoot this white boy, should I shoot him? Hey, me personally, I would have shot his ass. That's just me. But they don't. They say he got to put his own work in. So he put yep. the gun down. Bro, get up. He like, yo, I'm going to grab this gun. I'm going to grab this money and leave. You ain't going to shoot him. He got to go grab the gun. This man, boy, fuck, shoot his ass yep. in the ass. Real right. God, they shot me in the ass. <laughs> the whole time, they go over, they see that boy put his own work in. So they now they respect him. You feel me? They like, yo, we got you <laughs> back, boy. You put work in. You shot this whole ass. But now he mad. He like, he say one of the hardest quotes in all yes. of movies, in my opinion, bro. Are oh, you motherfuckers? Okay, all right. I'm putting cases on. No, are you bitches, huh? You think you can do this shit? Jay, you think you can do this to me? Hey. You motherfuckers, when we play basketball, Bella can play when I get this with you. Shoe program, 23 hour lockdown. I'm the man up in this piece. You'll never see the lighter. Who the fuck do you think you're fing with? I'm the police. I run shit that's around you. here. You just live here. Yeah, that's right. You better walk away. Go on and walk away. Because I'm going to burn this motherfucker down. Game Kong ain't got shit on me. That's right. That's right. Shit. I'm winning anyway. I'm winning. I'm winning any motherfucker way. Hey, I lose. Yeah, you can shoot me, but you can't kill me. Man, this shit is out of pocket. <laughs> one of the coldest quotes I ever heard in the movie. Yep. And it didn't matter, man. He said all that for nothing. He ain't dropped that money off by midnight. Now he had a stoplight. Now the rush is dead ass right here. Stop his ass. Oh, I mean, straight AKs. Bro got out of there called wheezing, bro. He can't even breathe. He got so many holes in him, bro. They did his ass dirty. Yeah, so they did it dirty. <laughs> Now we on the side of a car Damn. dead, bleeding out. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Should have thought about it. Set my man hoid up. Now look at you. Stanky. Looking stupid. <laughs> Tragic, bro. Would have never let that happen. Damn, to me. Man. Damn, they really lit his ass up, though. They put holes in his ass. Yep. Turn him to a motherfucking glorified glory hole. Yep. Alright, pause on that. <laughs> Turn him to Swiss cheese, man. Turn him to the absolute brown black Swiss cheese. Yeah, dang, man. Wow, what a, what a way to end this recap. But yeah, man, man. Woo, wee. That entire rant with Alonzo saying King Kong ain't got ish on me, man. That's still for every woman the greatest, the greatest rages ever in a movie, man. Like, good lord. Denzel deserved that win, Oscar win, because of that. Because, man, woo wee. He, he is, he is such an absolute job playing as that, um, as Alonzo. And, of course, Jake Hort, um, Ethan Hawke playing as Jake. It was like, man, man. Time is classic. Absolute classic. Absolute classic this movie was, man. 2001 this came out. 2001. Mm -mm -mm. So, Hot Squad, that is my conclusion of finally my last Hot Banger Recap of the week, and that was Sensei's Training Recap. So, if you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. It means a lot to me. Comment, subscribe, and share your thoughts about this. Have you seen Training Day? How old was you when Training Day came out? I think I was three years old when this came out. It, was, it came out 2001. I was born in 1998. So, yeah, overall, man, W Recap Sensei, keep up the good work with these, man. Keep up the great work. So, Hot Squad is now finally next. Now time for a Try It The Life reaction. Yes, it's been a while since I tried the Life challenge. So, we're going to watch another Trade Rise Try It The Life compilation. So, Hot Squad, please stay tuned for that.